Welcome back everybody, it's easy Bringing you the last video in the introduction to Clash of Clans It's on the cleanup troops And for those of you new to the game uh, a, a good 3 star attack in Clash of Clans takes several phases uh, The first phase of the attack would be what we call a kill squad After your kill squad goes in and handles several objectives Like the clan castle troops, uh, the enemy heroes, maybe certain defenses then you would bring in your main body of troops to, for the actual attack and then towards the end of the attack you'll bring in what we call cleanup troops to help finish off the base. Uh, common cleanup troops are hog riders and balloons, those are your two most common. But in this first clip right here from Pyro you'll see how he uses wizards for cleanup troops. It's a really clever way that, to, to clean out the base. What he does is he uses, this is a farming attack for, for Dark Elixir. Uh, this this attack that he's built has a very small impact on his dark elixir reserves So he's able to bring the giants under healers um, And an assortment of spells and as the giants penetrate the base and they get towards the back end of the base He'll start dropping in wizards and uh, The defense is uh, instead of shooting out of the walls at the wizards they're shooting in at the giants So it's a, it's a, a lot of it is a, the timing of the attack um, which is really important in any cleanup attack is the timing of the attack uh, You'll hear about timing timing timing. You, you hear it all the time uh, And it's really important to try to get the timing right especially when using a, a You'll you'll notice that most of your cleanup troops are squishy in other words They don't have high hit points They may have high damage per second and most of them are also defense only troops uh, which is really important too because you get some defense only troops in there and they're just going defense to defense so you may have 14 buildings left to clean up but but six of them are defenses and uh, your your hog riders for example will go in and take out all six defenses then you don't have any defenses left and you just have to clean out the buildings so as you saw pyro came in here he, he used the giants he got into the base the the giants penetrated deep into the base and as the defense stood along the outside of the base on the back end started shooting in towards the giants he dropped the wizards on the outside of the walls the wizards shot over the walls and took out all the defenses and they I mean two shots and the wizards go down but they did not get shot it was excellent timing now this next attack because the because I haven't seen a lot of uh, the use of wizards for cleanup uh, we got two, we, we actually put two of them in this video so it was kind of cool uh, also being the introduction to clash I know that a lot of um, newer players are going to be watching these videos these lines of videos and you're not going to have some of the uh, Dark Elixir troops like the Hog Riders that we use for cleanup. That's going to be a little later on for you. So you'll be able to use the Wizards like like uh, Pyro did and like uh, Thunderbird, same player. Um, new to the clan, awesome player. Um, I, d I wish I had taken a shot at his base so you can see what a uh, Town Hall 9.5 looks like. It's an incredible base that he's got. So uh, great asset for the clan immediately after joining just a few days ago uh, anyway this attack is, was very similar to the last one uh, he's he's gonna enter the base with the Giants with healers behind him and as the Giants penetrate deeper and deeper into the base he will start dropping the Wizards behind the walls I'm sorry on the outside of the walls and they will shoot over the walls at the defense and after crash them. now as you advance in level, you'll, you'll get your balloons and you'll get your hog riders. Those are the two most typical cleanup troops. And as I mentioned before, the reason why they are the most common cleanup troops is because they are defense only troops. It's, it's important to use these defense only troops as your cleanup troops because they will skip over all the other buildings and they'll go right from defense to defense. So if you have, let's say, 12 or 15 buildings left, but only 7 defenses, but they're deep in the base and they're dug, they're dug in really good. Uh, you can use a deep you can use these defense only troops to go in there and they'll take out the defenses They'll leave everything else and then once all the defenses are down Then they'll start attacking all the trash buildings and, and you won't have the risk of that one defense wiping out all the troops So with the with your balloons and with your hog riders They both need the and it's it's crucial for you to bring a complement of spells with them the hog riders You have to bring heal spells the balloons you have to have either haste or rage spells so even though they're cleanup troops and they come at the end of the attack that doesn't mean you, you have to you, you can be on empty as far as your spell count you have to save the spells for that particular phase of the attack so the cleanup troops if you're going to use them and I would definitely suggest you do 
Um, it, it's not a normal strategy. No, most people will just put all the troops in. Well, you know, especially just starting out. You, you'll build all your troops. You'll put them all in right away. You'll sit there and watch, and you'll, you'll drop spells uh, as the, as the attack progresses. Well, when you use cleanup troops, it's a it's a different phase of the attack. So you'll have to plan for it, and you'll have to make sure you save spells for it. And that that can be hard to do because. If you run into any trouble, the first thing you want to do is drop spells on any problem area to help push your troops through it. And then you may drop all your spells and you won't have anything for the hog riders at the end. So, this attack right here is, uh, this is from Little Easy. And this is the hog rider on cleanup. And this is one of your most common cleanup troops. And again, we'll, I'll say it again, it's because they go for defense to defense. And you'll see what happens here. Um, as we penetrate the base, we start off kind of the same as the last two attacks. We start off with uh, giants and, and healers. And as they get further and further into the base, we'll start adding our other troops. So in this, in this attack, we have wizards, we have uh, valkyries. And we don't want to start putting the cleanup troops in until a large part of the base is, is already handled. And the, and the reason is is because for the same reason as the first two attacks you want to wait until the defenses are shooting at your tanks the big troops in the middle in this case they're, they're the giants so here on the on the on the left side of the base drop we drop the heal spell we drop four or five uh, hog riders in into the heal spell and you want to try to drop your heal spell in front of the troops you don't want to drop it right on top of them because what they'll do is they'll take out one or two defenses and then they'll run right out of the, the heal spell so uh, at the same time we dropped hog riders in the top right under a heal spell and then as the troops move towards the middle we dropped one more heal spell in the middle. So we try to get really good coverage on the base with all the heal spells. And you can see right now you have the skeletons following the, the, the uh, hog riders around which that's a big problem for hog riders. If those skeletons cling on to those hog riders at the beginning of the attack they'll slowly chew away at them and you won't have any left at the end of the attack. So. At this point of the attack, there's no more defenses left because the hog riders came in. They, they went from defense to defense, and now there's only trash buildings left. And trash buildings, just so you know, are buildings that don't have any kind of defensive purpose. Uh, in other words, they don't shoot. They don't do anything except take up space and add. Uh, you can still use your trash buildings for shielding. Uh, they're not as effective as a storage, but they still do have hit points, and you can put them in strategic areas to make troops have to take them out first. And that gives your defenses some time to shoot at them while, while uh, b before they get to the actual defense. Now this next attack, this is a type of dragoon attack. It's only three dragons. Uh, brought three dragons, one for each air defense. So the air defense can start shooting at the dragon. And as soon as the air defense locks onto the dragon, we put in uh, some balloons to take out the air defense. Because the air defenses are definitely the biggest threat to this particular attack. So here goes the third uh, dragon, and here goes the, the last set of balloons. Now, this attack is a little different from the others because the cleanup troops come in a little bit earlier. So at this point right here, the main threat of the base is now eliminated, the air defenses. As soon as the air defenses went down, we brought in what we would call a mass attack. There's, there's a couple of different types of cleanup attacks. You have a mass attack, which is just a large amount of your defense only troop or your cleanup troops that will come in and, and you'll use your spells to push them through the base. You also have what we call a surgical attack. Um, that, that's for a little more advanced players. Uh, the surgical attack. <laughs>